this is Sarim Khan and today I am returned with my new question on kinematics for IITJ and this question was asked in 2013 IITJ in teaser type section. So since this is really very interesting problem and today we are going to solve this question that asks us that airplane A and B are flying with constant velocity. Okay, here is airplane number A and here is B. They are just flying okay in any straight direction with constant velocity. In the same vertical plane at angles 30 degree and 60 degree with respect to the horizontal respectively as shown in the figure. So here the information has been given that if we have two airplanes, airplane A and then airplane B and here airplane A is making angle 30 degree with the horizontal x axis while B is making the angle 60 degree means their, the direction of their velocity is like this. This is making 30 while this is making 60. Then is given that the speed of A is 100 root 3 meters per second. Means what the speed of airplane A is here. This speed is 100 root 3 meters per second while of airplane B it is not given. At time t equals to 0 seconds an observer, observer in A finds B at a distance of 500 meters. Means at t equals to 0 seconds in, in airplane A any person is sitting who sees to airplane B and finds that the distance between both the airplanes is 500 meters. After that what happens that this observer sees B moving with a constant velocity perpendicular to the line of motion of A. If at t equals to t naught a just is kept being hit by b t naught in seconds is so this we have to reply since we know what it is given that if same observer if same observer is out of the airplane a and later at t equals to t naught seconds what happens he is hit by the airplane b so what is the value of t naught in seconds what actually it is this we have to find out since this question this problem really is very interesting Interesting. Then what we'll be doing? Let me draw a rough diagram here. So this is airplane A. Okay, that is making how much? Imagine its velocity, its speed is in this direction. This is 30 degree with the horizontal x-axis. After that, what is given? This is airplane B, this direction. After that, here we can see. Imagine this angle to be 60 degree. Okay this angle. This angle is 60 degree. After that what is given that here is airplane B. Then what we have to find out imagine the distance between this and this is 500 meters. We have to find out the value of T naught in seconds. Then only what we can do since we know that actually this angle is 60 degree actually uh, it will be uh, uh, little such then what I will be doing in this problem okay really, really very interesting is I will I will first of all draw a line that is parallel to this parallel to its velocity this will be of course imagine this is VA VA this is VB okay this is airplane A the here is velocity of VA here is velocity of VB and after that what I do imagine I am drawing such a line that is just making 60 degree actually this is a, a little rough type this I am making so this is what this angle will be what everybody can tell this angle will be 30 degree this angle is 30 degree I make it just at 30 degree I just turn it 30 degree so that it will come of course this hole was 60 degree and I have to bring it to 30 then for that I make such a line so that this will become 30 okay this angle is now 30 degree after that can I call this VB okay can I call this as VB cos 30 degree since this was VB and if I try to find out the component of VB by making angle of 30 degree, what will it be? VB cos 30 degree, angle is getting at 30 degree, then cos will do. Then if I draw it such, if I draw it such, this is VA, then and this is VB cos 30 degree this is the main situation this and if we know this then it really this problem becomes very easy for us let us try to know how if this is VB cos 30 degree imagine I'm making this line from here okay it's velocity with respect to this okay in this direction then this will be VB sine 30 degree VB sine 
30 degree. This we got, this is VB sin 30 degree in this direction. Now very easily we can do, of course, what is in doing that? Okay, can we apply formula since we know speed equals to distance by time, time equals to distance by speed, then time equals to distance, 500 meters. 500 meters by speed by VB sine 30 degree. It's in this, it's component in this direction we need. We need the, actually we need the VB sine 30 degree. Why such? Because uh, since we know that here is uh, the velocity, the, uh, the speed of that man who is sitting in this uh, plane A is, uh, since we know it is 100 through 3 meters per second. So here we need the component of VB in this direction, in the plane in which he is sitting. So that that will be VB sin 30 degree. This is VB sin 30 degree, but we do not have value of VB. How can we tell? We need the value of VB. So, can I say, can I say that since we know uh, do, this I have drawn, then VA is equals to VB cos 30 degree. Can I write such? Why did I do those things? Of course, to write the same expression, if I can write it from here, VB value, I can find out. VA is equals to what? VB cos 30 degree. Cos 30 degree value we can tell root 3 by 2 implies that VA is given in question 100 root 3, 100 root 3 is equals to VB cos 30 degree. VB value we have to find out VB into root 3 by 2. Cos 30 degree root 3 by 2, root 3 and root 3 cancel. So this will go here implies that the VB, VB is what? 200. 200 meters per second means the speed of the second plane is 200 meters per second now can we do it of course we can do now if we want very easily we can solve then t naught will be equals to what 500 meters distance is already given 500 meters by by what vb sin 30 degree now since vb value we have 200 meters per second then 200 into sin 30 degree sin 30 degree value we have 1 by 2 this will be cancelled in 100 times. Okay, 200 into 1 by 2, that will be 100, which is equals to 0. And okay, this is 5 seconds. 5 seconds we got means the value of T naught in seconds is 5. So here what we can write that the correct answer is 5 seconds. This is the correct answer. Hence, for this problem, where A is making angles 30 degree with the x-axis, while B is making 60 degree, and the speed of A is 100 root 3 meters per second, this distance is 500 meters, at t equals to 0 seconds, and our observer, uh, observer is sitting in plane A. After that, at t naught seconds, where he is hit by plane B, then what will happen? Of course, the value of t naught is 5 seconds. This is the correct answer. So, this this was my today's topic based over a JE problem. Okay, that is on kinematics. Thank you.